Yeah, but you know what? I think Personally. the writer, one of the writer's goals was met with you because you can't exactly get over it yet. The same exact reaction anybody would get <laughs> to having HIV or any disease where they acknowledge that, oh my God, I'm gonna die one day and it's gonna be a lot sooner than I thought. You know, they don't get over it right away. So in that way, you as an audience member can uh, sympathize and empathize with that. So I think, I mean, if that was one of the writer's goals, which I believe it is, then, you know, they met it. I don't know. I There's guess. that. <laughs> well, let, let's get away from the story a little bit because we're just going in a circle ending. now. Yeah. The, yeah, well, the story as a whole. But anyway, um, the acting was incredible. Extremely well done. All the actresses and actors. Were there any actors? Not really. But not, not and the really. nurse. The nurse. Yeah, just the nurse. The male but anyway, nurse. the actors okay. in general, gender regardless, all did a phenomenal job. I felt that, especially Precious, the way, like in the beginning, uh, she was extremely. Uh, she was very introverted, and she would mumble a lot, and, like, she wouldn't open her books because she didn't feel like she deserved even to be in the class, really, she in a way. She didn't want to be acknowledged at all. Yeah. And she didn't feel to be acknowledged. I mean, but she wasn't as, acknowledged. As even the movie all. went on, as, as her, when she went to, uh, what was it, Reach One, Teach One? Anyway. Reach One, Teach One. When she went to the second school, the alternative school, school yeah. um, as as she was, as she opened up more, you could really see it in the acting. And I, I don't know the actress's name of played Precious, but in every like subtle way, it wasn't. I hate when actors do like when a character changes and it's like they're one way one minute and they're the other way the next, and it's a complete character it's like a bipolar switch. thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and there have been, frankly, some actors who have gotten awards for doing such a good performance when they act like that, and I frankly hate it. But with this actress, it was so subtle and slow that as time went on, you really felt the shades of her emotion, emotional ties to the world itself. Yeah, there was actual character development. Yeah. It wasn't... Um, here's wasn't two sides of the chain. spectrum of the character instead instead of um, you know just natural character flow as if you see a person grow you, yeah. you saw Precious grow in this movie I mean you saw where she was rock bottom and you saw her slowly climbing herself out of that bottom and she still is you know she still is climbing herself out of that bottom yeah. You know, even the, after the movie ends. I mean, she's at a much better place emotionally. Yeah. All the physically aside, but... You would not recognize Monique or Mariah Carey. I mean... Yeah, in fact, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> While we were watching the movie, he kept insisting that it was Mariah Carey, and I I still, frankly, don't see it. That's fucking Mariah yeah. Carey, I'm We looked it up you. on IMDb, and I went back and looked at the scene again, and I still can't see that it's her. It's, uh, so it's, maybe it's just her without makeup. Man, I don't know what she did with herself, but bravo Mar Mariah Carey, because she sounded like she smoked 12 packs a day. I mean, <laughs> that and heavy makeup, I mean, and like her, her attitude well, and her I think voice. It, I think it was, it was no makeup. Maybe, maybe it was no makeup. I mean, whether it was or not. And I mean, you know what? She didn't look bad. I didn't yeah, recognize yeah. her, but... I've never like, been. It's fucking her. It took me a I've never while. been the kind of person to be all like, you know, into the heavy makeup. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was. I mean, whatever works in the movie. Yeah. If it works in the movie, if the makeup artist decides, you know, or collaborates yeah. with the director or whoever, and says maybe she's better for the part without makeup. Yeah. You know, that's that's a, whatever 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 decision it works to make the part right. Um. Emma Monique's character, man, you, t you see, you see her. All right, you see her in charm school, trying to teach all these girls without etiquette or manners or, you know. Monique was the teacher. Yeah, Mo okay. Monique was pretty much, you know, host of the show, and she taught the girls you know, no, values. I, I meant in, in Precious. In 
precious Monique was the teacher? Teacher of what? Okay, who did Monique play in the movie? Monique played the mother. Okay. You, you, oh, you didn't know who Monique was? Not really, I don't really pay attention to Oh, okay, yeah. That was, that was Monique. Okay. Not Monique? Now, well, now I know. Okay, if you see her out of the movie, yeah. you'd well, be like, no, that wasn't her. That couldn't yeah. be her. You know, just the same reaction you had with Mariah Carey. But, you know, you if you, you saw her in charm school, she's like teaching all these girls. About how, how, how yeah. to do exactly the same things she didn't do in this movie. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, you know, I'm flabbergasted. I'm like, oh my god, she really dug deep to get this character out of it. Well, I, I can tell that you're impressed. I have to take your word for it because I didn't really know who Monique was exactly. You know, like I'd heard in the name, but... Yeah, man, if you see her in every interview, she has poise, she has respect, you know, she... I've I've never really heard her curse because you know I yeah. think she believes that you know cursing doesn't really get your point across. Yeah. And it really doesn't. I mean, cursing is just a form of anger. I curse a lot, but that's just to you know whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in in this movie she was different. She was really different. I mean, this is my favorite role. As much as I hated the character, uh, the actress did a phenomenal job yeah. playing this. Monique. Yeah. Bravo yeah. to you too. Yep. Fuck love you. Bravo for that. Um, virtual hug. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've definitely talked. I, de I think we've definitely gushed enough about the acting. Yeah. Um. So, uh, what do you think about the directing? The directing was interesting. Um. He, uh, the directing definitely took you to a place where you didn't want to be. Um, yeah, the first I agree. five minutes, you were so overwhelmed with the situation. Five? The yeah. first 20 minutes? Well, yeah, I mean, but five minutes is all it took. Yeah. You know, for you to feel that, oh my God, what am I feeling? God, I yeah. hate this feeling, but I got to keep watching this movie because I started it, now I got to finish the it. The first 45 minutes was rough. Yeah, it was rough. I mean... This is a spoiler part, right? Yeah, this is a spoiler. Okay, so when she's well, getting... We've, we've been talking about what? how she has HIV, gets HIV the whole time. Well, and yeah. that's the biggest spoiler <laughs> there is. Yeah, that is the biggest spoiler. Okay, go but, on. I mean, the, um, the sexual episodes where, yeah. you know, she's having flashbacks. And then in the flashback, she's psyching herself out to not feel pain. And yeah. the psyching of herself out... Is pretty much her fantasy life. Yeah, her what escape she wants into, to do. Yeah, her escape into her ultimate dream. Yeah, she wants I mean, to be famous. You know, she yeah. wants to know, you know, music people. She wants to be an actress. She wants a, you know, light skinned boyfriend with good hair and. I'm, yeah. You know, she said it herself. Um, but she never had a boyfriend. She never had anyone who was attracted to her. Yeah, and like she's talking about these things. She's dreaming about these things these things and then you know like at the same time she's thinking about that what's actually happening to her is that she's getting sexually abused and it's so sad yeah i cried <laughs> i fucking cried um i'm i'm mad enough to admit that i mean i've cried before in other movies and this movie got me i came pretty close you know, it'll probably get you too yeah anything else I think we're ready for our final thoughts. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, final thoughts. All right. Review of Precious. Well, frankly, there were things that I did enjoy with it, like the acting and such, and the directing I thought was very good. But the story itself really did let me down. I mean, I, I ranted about it enough, so I'm not going to rant it anymore about it, but the fact that she got HIV was really one kick too many. And that's all I have to say. Um, the HIV thing, I may have done without it. Um, it's, I mean, it's not okay for anybody to have HIV. Hopefully, you know, one day find a, a cure for any sort of AIDS, but um, for the movie itself, it did give an element to where um, Precious was just 
in the deep end. The deep, deep end. I mean, if it couldn't got, if it couldn't get any worse, it did get worse, and I did think that uh, that brought something to the movie. And um, the movie as a whole um, is definitely a story that anybody can relate to. Everybody gets into a spot that they don't want to be, that they want to get out of, and they have to almost go through hell to get out of it. Um, I, I can recommend, I recommend this movie to anybody. Alright, I think so that's, that's it. it. Goodbye YouTube, see you for our next review.